launch abort is a pretty bad day. When we aborted, uh, at the moment that we aborted, we were about 32 miles above the earth and we were going 4,000 miles an hour. And uh, a couple pieces of the rocket ran into each other and caused the rocket to kind of come apart underneath us, disintegrate. And at the moment that the computers on board sensed that we weren't traveling as fast as we should be and we weren't pointed in quite the right direction, the abort system, the escape, the escape tower, pulled us off of the rocket and, and pulled us clear of all of that debris and then started us on our way back down. And so those are safety systems. Those are examples of systems that we put into place to protect us on the days when we don't do it right. You know, something had happened, some mistake had been made, and it prevented us from achieving the mission we wanted to that day. But the, the first priority is, is protecting the crew. And, and you'll see that on all of our vehicles, whether it's SLS or, or it's a SpaceX or it's Boeing, the, when we're launching crew, we have these safety systems in place to make sure that those crews come home to us. A lot of people have asked what it was like for us to launch after that abort. You know, were we more worried? Were we had a heightened sense of what could go wrong? And it might sound strange to think about it this way, but actually we had so much more confidence in the rocket. So a couple months later, we launched early and we were very aware at that time uh, that what had happened to the rocket, why it had happened, and that preventative measures had been taken that it wasn't gonna happen again. So we had a lot of confidence in the rocket, and we also had a lot of confidence in the abort system. Something that's interesting about that abort system is that was, system has been put on every Soyuz vehicle for as long as they've been built, and it was only the second time that it has rescued a crew, and it was only the first time that it had rescued a crew in the phase of flight that Nick was. So for us getting on the rocket, we had a really big confidence boost. In the test flight world, we always say you don't test an aircraft and an ejection seat at the same time. If you're testing an aircraft, have a proven ejection seat. And to us, this was a data point that said, hey, this abort system is really good, and in the worst of days, it can bring you back safely. And liftoff. We have liftoff of Let's Nick go. Hay, Christina Cook, and Alexei Ochinin, now on their way to the International Space Station. A successful abort proves that the system that keeps astronauts safe works. There are all sorts of devices, like car seat belts, that keep us safe. Can you think of some other devices that you use every day to keep you safe? Let us know in the comments section. And if you like this video, be sure to follow STEM in 30 on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel.